Hey everybody, welcome to Planes Over It, and uh, we are continuing with our A320 series. Um, disclaimer remains the same. Uh, do not use any of this information that you're learning here in practical application. Always refer to your manuals because they are much more updated. And uh, today we're doing landing gear, and it's quite important. Uh, actually, I would say uh, personally, uh, after FedEx, that is the engine control unit, uh, LG CIU, there's a landing gear uh, unit, is the most important. So anyway, a uh, landing gear consists of two main landing gears that retract inboard and one nose landing gear that retracts forward. So main landing gear, each main landing gear has two tires and uh, nose gear as well has two tires. And uh, the, like all the Airbus systems, even the computer, uh, all, all of it is controlled by the computers. And this is known as LGCIU, landing gear control and interface unit. So this controls the extension, retraction, and information that is supplied to the cockpit. And uh, signals are sent to other systems as well, which is very important to know that you're on the ground or you're in flight. And also a hand crank is given on the center pedestal, which allows, you know, in case your hydraulic systems have failed, the landing gear can be extended using your gravity extension. And as I already mentioned, each main gear has two twin wheels and uh, all your pneumatic shock absorbers are there. Now main wheels have anti-skid braking system, whereas this nose wheel doesn't have any braking system. It has a nose wheel steering system, which about which we will talk. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And uh, nose, nose wheel landing gear is here. Now the cockpit is on this side, okay? So it's in the front. So the nose gear moves towards the cockpit. Now this is very important and uh, generally as asked as well, why doesn't it go back? So in case of a gravity extension, when there is uh, no locking system to be sure, because the aerodynamic force will come like this from the front, this will make sure that the gear is pushed back and it gets locked when you're gravity extending. And this is the main landing gear here. Uh, this is the body and so it goes out and inboard. Inboard is the term that you have to remember. Okay. And the shock absorbers, lock, say, lock stay, safety pins, actuators is a hydraulic retraction actuator, down lock actuator, this one. It remembers that it's down and locked and the information is shared via the LGCU to the cockpit. And the down lock springs, shock absorbers. Okay, so that's about the main landing gear and nose wheel landing gear. Uh, just for your uh, extra information, uh, the, the A320 classics, the older ones, have a, a bogey landing gear system. So the main landing gear actually have four tires and it's like a bogey system, but it's quite out outdated now. And uh, nowadays all the 320 family has two tires on each main landing gear. Now this is the diagram about uh, talking about LGCIU control. I will just make it short on how it actually is working. So there are two LGCIU systems, okay? So if an, in any one of them fails, the other one takes over completely. Also, very important is during one cycle of, you know, complete gear cycle, that is extension and retraction, one LGCI you will perform. The next cycle after landing when you're done, the second second LGCI you will take over. So just to keep both of them working. Okay, so that's the principle of LGCI 1 and 2. The other one very important here is on the top is ADR1, ADR3 and main landing gear on ground. So this safety valve is actually between the green hydraulic supply and the actuator of the gears. So in case your speed is greater than 260 knots, the hydraulic supply is cut off via the safety valve. Okay, only, it will open only if any of these are satisfied. ADR1 is giving 260 knots or less. ADR3 is giving 260 knots and less. Or the main landing gear is down. That's one condition, any one of this condition. And the landing gear lever is down or self-maintained both the conditions required then only it will open so in short if your speeds are over 260 knots this will be shut and there will be no supply as you can just read here the green hydraulic system actuates all gears and doors is the green hydraulic system that's running the landing gear when the aircraft is flying faster than 260 knots a safety valve automatically cuts off the hydraulic supply to the landing gear system as you could see Below 260 knots, the hydraulic supply remains cut off as long as the landing gear lever is up, as I just showed you here. Okay, so this diagram is important in those two senses. 
in terms of LGCIO discussion and the speed, which is from one and three only, not one and two, which is al always mistaken by a lot of people. Okay, so this is the center pedestal uh, gravity extension system that is there on the center pedestal. So there are you have to make three clockwise rotation. Very important question again. It's three clockwise rotation, not anti-clockwise. So what all each step does is first step when you rotate one clockwise uh, isolates the landing gear from the green hydraulic system. Second clockwise rotation unlocks the landing gear doors and the main and nose main gear doors. Okay, both the gears doors are unlocked and then the allows the gravity to extend the gear and the nose wheel as i already told you aerodynamic force will push it backwards to get it locked let's talk about nose wheel steering system very important and uh, a hydraulic actuating cylinder steers the nose wheel and uh, the the control that uh, does is the brake and steering control unit bscu okay so that is what it controls and the important point nose wheel steering is provided by the yellow hydraulic system the landing gear is via the green hydraulic system but the nose wheel steering is via the yellow hydraulic system to the cylinder pressure to the cylinder the bsu receives orders from captains and the first officer steering hand wheel that the tellers basically on right side and left side of the side stick respectively the orders are added ab uh, algebraically okay and or the rudder pedals or the autopilot itself so rudder pedals also can move the nose wheel steering to a certain degree only the hand wheel actually can turn the nose wheel up to 75 degrees and the 95 degrees can be turned by the ground crew if they actually put a you know a lever is there on the towing electrical box on the nose landing gear this will actually deactivate the steering system and the t wheel can be turned by 95 degrees okay and via the rudder it is just six degrees of movement okay so that's all you need to know about nose wheel steering brakes and anti-skid very important so there are two independent systems for braking normal and alternate normal is run via the green hydraulic uh, pressure and the alternate is run via the yellow hydraulic pressure green braking is handled by bscu okay that is brake and uh, brake and skid brake and steering control unit an alternate is handled by alternate braking control unit abcu okay so brakes are either via the brake pedals or the via the auto brake system itself auto brake i'll talk about on the next slide and uh, along with the brakes we have anti skid very important function that anti skid does it provides maximum braking efficiency by maintaining the wheels at the limit of an impending skid so it automatically detects if the aircraft wheels are going to skid and it does the opposite for the another tire. So I'll just this is the principle here. The speed of each main gear wheel is compared to the aircraft speed. When the speed of the wheel decreases below approximately 0.87 time of the reference speed, brake release orders are given to maintain the wheel slip at that value. So what is happening is if one wheel is moving slower and one other wheel is moving faster by 0.87 times, then a signal is sent to the anti-skid system and the other wheel the brakes are released so that the skid doesn't happen this is handled by the adr air data reference sends the data to the anti-skid system which compares it with the wheel tachometers there are tachometers which uh, near the wheel there are tachometers which uh, keep the speed monitor the speed rotation of the tires each wheel so that com tachometers compared with the adr adr will give you the aircraft speed when if the both are compared they are used in avoiding skid anti-skid system all right so auto brake uh, very important and uh, cool function i would say so auto brakes reduce crew workload yes of course you don't have to stand on the rudder pedals itself there are three different modes low medium and max max can be armed only on the ground and not in flight very important max stops at very decelerating rate very high decelerating rate so it can be armed only on the ground during takeoff it is used for reject takeoff okay in case you're rejecting takeoff it is used and low and medium is used for landing that is approach auto brakes activate when ground spoilers are deployed either on landing or during a rto so what is required for auto brakes is two sec systems spoiler elevator controls computers must be operative for auto brake to activate why because the sec will 
send information regarding the ground spoilers to the auto brake system and only then they will activate they will just not activate whenever the main landing gear is touched down okay so the landing gear information is important as well but ground spoilers information is more important auto brake gets disconnected when rudder pedals are deflected beyond a certain threshold so it's important for uh, auto brake to let you know work because they are much more efficient than your uh, manual pilot braking the aircraft so they take a uh, lot of factors into it and do much efficient braking so auto brake is good and that's why you should uh, be uh, you know uh, very uh, sensitive about deflecting the rudder too much that it will get disconnected and then you have to you'll not even realize that your auto brake is lost it will be very alarming okay so max can be armed in the ground only all right so uh, i've seen a lot of uh, people have not really uh, used the quizzes so i just put up a link on the video itself this is the quiz link you can find it in the description as well so go for it and use the landing gear quiz all right guys thank you for watching and if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and like the facebook page for regular updates share it with your friends and comment below if you have any doubts i'll get back to you as soon as possible you can always contact me on all of these links mentioned here whatsapp email facebook and youtube cheers and happy landings guys have a great day bye bye